Okay, guys, so we're in the middle of the month and we have the latest number of institutional ownership changes in AMC stock. Let's go over the details. Should we start with the winners or with the losers, the one that actually sold or the one that actually increased their position? Let's start with the bad guys. First thing first, one of the best performing hedge funds, the Quant Technology and Strategy Renaissance Technologies LLC dumped 60% of their position in AMC. You know, they were extremely bullish. Uh, they dumped Tesla just to buy a little more AMC and they bought a couple of other stocks during the last quarter. But reporting on this quarter, we all know major sell-offs. Now you can feel how some of these companies are actually not able to hedge the risk on the market and they just simply have to liquidate the positions in other stocks. Unfortunately, Renaissance Technologies dumped 60% according to this quarter report. And as you can see, the data is coming as of May 13th, like yesterday. But again, we're going to flip the coin and we're going to see that a company from Canada, from Quebec, actually increased their position in AMC with 53.3%. Currently, they held 27, very close to 28,000 shares. Also, close to nothing, but we have Charles Schwab Investment Management also at 0.6%. Uh, they already owned 2 million shares. So this is a little difference, but still in green, right? If things doesn't look promising, they probably will just do what uh, Rensas Technology did, right? So it's good, still in green. Also, you can see over here, we have uh, Royal London Asset Management, who at 1.6% currently held 181,000 shares of AMC. And again, we have to flip up the coin and look somebody who dumped big chunk of its position. We're having... Prudential's Financial, who dumped 70% of its uh, shares of uh, AMC. Still, position was uh, 40,000 shares, right? Not a, a gigantic position, but still, it's curious to see why they actually did this. And moving on the sheet number three, this is where the fun part begins. We have McKenzie Financial Corporation, increased position in AMC with 20%. Currently, shares held by them 145,000 shares. Also, we have Cove Store LTD, increased position in AMC with over 400%. Unbelievable, right? Also, Vanguard add more, right? They, they just simply cannot stop adding 0.6%. Very interesting. They add the exact same amount as the Schwab. Very, very interesting. Who dumped, right? We're having Allianz Asset Management dumped 53% of its position. Shares held by them, only 34,000. Uh, I understand. Things are going very, very bad if you don't hedge your position on the market with other assets that have a very, very good returns during these major sell-offs. Also, we have Aviva PLC, 33% down. It's position on AMC, not a surprise. Especially these companies that you never heard of, right? With no their ratio and their exposure to other assets. Just think about if they have also hedged with crypto and crypto is down and the stocks are down. It's kind of a reasonable uh, actually liquidation of some of this. Uh, obviously, long-term investments. AMC seems to be a long-term investment already. Uh, one year plus into the game. Also, we have a British Columbia Investment Management Corporation dump 11%. Great Westlife Assurance dump 2.3%. APG Asset Management dumped 15%. I would say, guys, the, the biggest players on the market, the only one that actually disappointed me was Renaissance Technologies that actually dumped uh, its position. All the other major places, we saw Schwab, we have McKenzie, we have Vanguard, right? They all increased their positions. Some, some of them with more, some of them with less, but still bullish and keep adding. The question is, where are they getting these shares from? Question number one. And question number two, if they didn't, if they don't actually loan the shares, like we assume happened with Renaissance Technologies, right? They have tons of shares, and if they don't make money from the shares, if they don't give the shares on loan, it kind of makes sense for them to sell the shares if the stock is going down. And probably this is one of the the biggest speculations over here, why Vanguard and BlackRock keep adding even when the stock it's it's losing at, at least uh, at the current short term, right? The stock is going down, but they keep adding. 
So this is the main speculation that, you know, they don't care about, about the current price action simply because they could make a lot more money just uh, giving these shares as a loan to the short sellers. This is, again, speculations. I don't know, guys, we're already in the middle of May. Let me know what do you guys think about these numbers, about these companies and the ratio. Why somebody will increase with 400% uh, while somebody will dump 60%. Right. And the most important question is where all these shares are coming from. Right. This is, as you can see, with the current uh, data. Right. We have him May 12th uh, to May 14th. Unbelievable. I hope you guys have an amazing Saturday. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.